I'd like to thank my administration and my colleagues and my friends for being here tonight supporting me. But I'd especially like to thank Timothy for being up here with me and my mom who is my biggest support. So every year I have my students write a bio poem. It's one of those poems that starts have sentence starters like I see, I hear, I wish. And the students finish the sentences in their poem as they reflect on who they are. Um, so many years ago, I wrote my own bio poem um, as a teacher. And I share it with my students every year to model what a bio poem is. And I was going to read that tonight as my speech. But as I started thinking about it, I thought it's not really, my teaching isn't really about me. My teaching is about my students. Their struggles, their achievements, their goals, that is what guides us as teachers. So I'm reading one of my students' bio poems from two years ago in my fifth grade class, and she's now on to middle school. I am a child. I wonder who I'll be. I hear the world calling. I see wonders all around me. I want to be the best person I can be. I am a child. I pretend I can be strong in holding in. I feel proud of my hard work. I touch as high up as I can. I worry about my life. I cry when I feel sad. I am a child. I understand nobody's perfect. I say I can do anything I put in mind. I dream to be a star. I try to be the best I can be. I hope to go many places. I am a child. Every year as I read these poems, I am reminded that our students are made up of hopes and dreams and silliness and fears and worries. And I think it's so amazing that we all get to spend our days guiding those dreams, giving them the tools to fulfill their hopes, allowing their silliness and encouraging it, and hopefully calming their fears and their worries. I'm sure you all agree with me when we say that this is the best profession to be in. And I wish you all the best school year. Thank you.